Lots of news this morning. Let's start with this. A key Republican senator says the Trump administration needs to explain how four U.S. Army sergeants were killed in Niger. Brian Black, Jeremiah Johnson, Dustin Wright, and LaDavid Johnson were told not to expect enemy contact on their mission to meet with community leaders just over two weeks ago. They were stationed in Niger with hundreds of other U.S. troops working with local forces to fight terrorism. President Trump did not mention the lost soldiers until Monday. Then he was criticized for how he spoke to the widow of one of the men who was killed. The president insists he said nothing inappropriate. Margaret Brennan is at the White House. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, U.S. Africa Command is investigating the ambush to see if any warning signs were missed. Senate Armed Services Committee Chairman John McCain says the administration is not being upfront and he's demanding more information about this attack. Sergeant LaDavid Johnson was one of four soldiers killed on patrol in Niger more than two weeks ago. In a pre mission briefing, they were told no enemy contact expected. But the group, about 40 in all, were attacked by militants who the Pentagon now believes are part of an offshoot of ISIS. The patrol that was attacked last week had actually done 29 patrols without contact over the previous six months or so. No indication that, uh, that this was going to occur. Their attackers were described as well-trained, well-equipped, and well-organized. And with no armed aircraft overhead to call on for airstrikes against their attackers, the Green Berets were trapped. The first aircraft to arrive were French Mirage jets. They were able to have close air support overhead about 30 minutes after first contact. But it was too late for Sergeants Brian Black, Dustin Wright, and Jeremiah Johnson, who were mortally wounded. Sergeant LaDavid Johnson was also killed, his body not recovered until two days later. His wife is expecting their third child. President Trump called his widow, Maisha Johnson, as she was on her way to receive his body. Florida Democrat Frederica Wilson was with Johnson. I heard him say, well, he knew what he was signing up for. Sergeant Johnson's mother confirmed Wilson's version of events to the Washington Post, saying the president disrespected her son. But President well, Trump claimed Democrat it was fabricated. Members. I did not say what she said. I had a very nice conversation with the woman, with the wife, who is, sounded like a lovely woman, did not say what the congresswoman said. Now, the issue of how these Gold Star families are treated has now become a political football. Yesterday, the White House said that President Trump wrote a personal $25,000 check to the family of an Army corporal who had been killed in Afghanistan. Now, his family says they haven't received it. Gail, a similar controversy happened after President Obama was delayed in writing a check to memorialize ISIS hostage Kayla Mueller. All right, Margaret Brennan, thank you very much.